hey what's up guys welcome back it's been a minute uh finally got around to streaming again we're just gonna goof around we're gonna play some of uh my buddy retro bros john's his game um it's not out yet on steam but it's coming out soon it's called desert of the undead it's an nes game it actually does run on real hardware and it's uh, pretty fun it's pretty hard but it's actually pretty fun too so i want to welcome everybody to the chat uh, first in was uh, Down Phoenix. Uh, apparently, uh, the Fallout show starts running tonight. So, yeah. So, appreciate you being here for this. And then I'll have to check that out later, too. Indeed. Indeed, my friend. Fallout goes live tonight. Yes. What's up, Casey? Casey's here as well. We got Luke's Awakening. We got Casey. We got Down Phoenix. Where's the kitties? They're the stars. They're doing their thing. They're very sleepy. They don't want to be disturbed. I tried to pet John and he just kind of looked at me like, what, what do you want? What do you want? Like, can we do this later? And I'm like, okay. No problem. Uh, you playing off an Everdrive? Um, not today. Today I'm just playing on an emulator. Actually. I have his, uh, game loaded up into retro arc and I'm going to play it using, uh, I think it's the, uh, Nestopia core. I can't remember which one I have it set to. Uh, da -da 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 let's get into it. Let's play some of this. Let's have the fun. Let's do this stuff and all of these things and this kinds of stuff. Yes. Yes. Uh, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Okay, guys. Let's play. Let's play. If you haven't played this, you really should check it out. It's pretty fun. John Maverick, ex-Navy SEAL, now businessman, returns home from a business trip. From a distance, he can see the horizon seems off. Something is wrong. It's up to John to find out what is causing this strange aura. Mission, meet up with the town sheriff. It starts out like this and you might think something's wrong, but if you just press start, your guy appears. And then when you go to shoot, you don't see anything, nothing happens. But if you hit select, then your, you have to hit select twice for some reason, but then your uh, shots start working come in here, they'll talk to you and they'll tell you about that. John, something has infected our town. It's the Walking Dead out there. Uh-oh, John's going to get struck for using the Walking Dead trademark. Stolen assets. To equip your weapon, press the select button. I already said that. If you have heavy ammo, you can press select again to change ammo. Heavy ammo will go further and do double the damage, but you can only carry eight shots at a time. This is the heavy ammo right here. That's regular ammo. That's the heavy ammo. I am using turbo, by the way. Turbo. Always. PJ Smith, what's up, dude? <laughs> oh, I got a little too high pitched on my voice with that. Hey, Jay Smith, what's up, dude? <laughs> John made a game pre featuring John. That's right. It's it's a game disguised as a game. Anyway, you know what I'm saying. He could say dead walking. He could. He could go back and change that. Pretty heavy, man. That's right. All right. This game is pretty hard. But, it's not nearly as hard as it was when I first started testing it. Because I was testing this for John for several weeks. I was a behind the scenes person. I was helpful. I'm in the game business. This guy does this thing with the water. 
pretty cool. Well, that's a bug right there. See how the pixels are all messed up? It's not supposed to be like that. Sometimes that'll happen. It's because of the engine that he's using. But it, it is what it is. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Down Phoenix says, I wonder if John Maverick is related to Maverick from Top Gun. Well, I certainly like to think so. Down Phoenix says, Ah, so the game was made casual so that Sai could beat it. I never beat it. <laughs> it's not that casual. It's a little casual. Not that casual. So these little plus things that you pick up, if you get like several in a row, then it gives you a free life. I don't remember how many in a row you have to get. Oh, this is... Okay, so the, little, the little flags are like save spots. Oh, I fell. Damn it. I did not mean to do that. Okay. Yeah, I told you. You can make this game easy as hell and I still wouldn't be able to beat it. Spiders, man. Can't quite get to them. I hate spiders. Any game any game that has spiders in it. I, I probably like the game, but I don't like spiders. I like the scorpions, they're kinda like a better looking pitfall. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. John did a good job with the his uh, enemies and characters and pretty much everything. He did a really good job. Come up here and get a free life right there. Is anything really free though? Sometimes it's hard to tell if the door is a door I come out of or I need to go into. That's another thing that if I was to levy any criticism, I don't like to be very critical, but you know. Ah, oh, damn it. It's so easy to die. I have trouble negotiating uh, ladders <laughs> and uh everything ah <laughs> spiders have you tried re-entering doors uh yeah actually I think you can. I think you can actually keep going back into the same doors over and over if you want to. Like, if we go in this door here, and then we come out, I think we can go right back in. Yeah, and just keep doing that. It's like a way to cheat, basically. trouble with these. I am not going to lie to you. I have trouble. That used to kill you right there if you jumped into the ceiling. He changed that because it was just too damn hard. <laughs> One up, maxing hack. Oh yeah, he, he put in some stuff to make it to where the game. He gives you like some ways to cheat because everybody likes to cheat, you know. And uh, you kind of need some help in this game because it's pretty difficult.
John, the town entrance is not much further ahead. By the way, uh, Retro Bro, if you happen to be watching and you would like to hop into the Discord voice chat, you're welcome to do so. I just have it set up on my phone, sitting next to the micro microphone here. <laughs> we'll see how that sounds, and I, I don't know, it might be a terrible idea, but we'll see how it goes. And Down Phoenix, anybody else, if you want to go in, you can as well. Be careful, there are reports of super zombies on the loops. I hate super zombies. Man, I'm glad those scorpions don't come down. Some of the enemies will fall down on you. Some of them don't. Yeah. Get some. This is hard right here. Hard for me, anyway. I begged him to add this little block right here because I kept dying every time I would drop down. Every single time. He's like, fine, I'll put a block. <laughs> See, John is not completely heartless. Okay. Now this is kind of a problem here. He can't really jump very high. So it can be a little tricky sometimes. I highly recommend you use turbo in this game. That guy was stuck over there. I don't know what he was doing. Oh yeah, another checkpoint. Luke says, that's good he did. I am pro block personally. Blocks are good, yes. <laughs> Sometimes a block is, is needed. Sometimes you have, to, you have to have a block. Sometimes you have to be blocked. All right, here's where it gets interesting. Look at this dude. Oh, gamma. Oh, gamma. That's the only thing missing, is the TurboGrafx uh, Vigilante voice. Oh, Gamma! <laughs> then it would be perfect. This guy's really easy to beat, because you can just jump when he comes at you. Oh, see? I didn't even have to jump. Let's see if I can use my special super gun on him. Yeah. Yeah! Get some! Mission! Defeat the underground whores! I mean, horde! I hate underground whores. I have some bad news! The entrance to town collapsed! That is bad news. You will need to go through the underground cavern to make your way to town. Damn it! That's where the whores are. There's one of them now. Not interested in your... <laughs> your propositions. <laughs> oh. Wish you could destroy the spider webs, but you can't. song earlier is kind of Knight Rider-ish. Hmm. Interesting. It's kind of appropriate in a way, I guess. Michael Knight. A lone rider. I don't remember the whole thing. Good times. Oh no! I landed right in the damn spider web. Crap. Alright. Try that again. Damn you, horse. 
No means no. I do not consent. Ooh, that was close. Get up there. Oh, Master Well, sup, my lad? Hey, oh, what's up, dude? What's up, dude? Baz says, what game you playing? This is called Desert of the Undead. This is a game that uh, my buddy John Retrobro uh, has created, and it's listed on Steam. You can put it on your wish list if you would like. I'm not being paid for this. I'm, <laughs> I'm just promoting a game that I helped test. That's all. I didn't have any other influence on this other than I did force John to make certain changes otherwise I was I threatened him that I would reveal dark secrets no it, anyway uh, but yeah John made this game it's on Steam it's called Desert of the Undead if you do a search for Desert of the Undead you'll find it put it on your wish list it comes out later this month and then you can buy it it's gonna be really cheap very very affordable and it also uh, there's a ROM and it will run on an NES, and he's getting, I believe, uh, physical cartridges made of this as well. So, yeah. Down Phoenix, I'm glad we haven't had Hollywood try to ruin us with a Knight Rider reboot. I can only accept one if it has the hog. Yeah. But maybe they could de-age him and CGI him in with AI. <laughs> Then use practical effects to recreate Kit, and then take the voice samples from Boy Meets World, and then the car will be able to say even more stuff. I don't know. Figure it out. Luke says, I got paid for it. You got shafted. Ain't it always the way? Baz says, okay, thanks. The sprite reminded me of Hudson Hawk. Hey, Hudson Hawk, yeah. I love that movie, by the way, Hudson Hawk. It's extremely stupid, but fun. By the way, if you play this on real hardware, my experience is in this particular spot here, there's a little bit of slowdown, which I'm not seeing on this emulator. So that's that's interesting. I think I may have no sprite limit turned on. So that might be why I don't have any slowdown. It's not bad though, it's just a little bit of slowdown. There was a version of this that I tested where there wasn't a background here, it was just black. And when those eyeballs disappear, you literally can't see them at all. That was a bitch. <laughs> I'm just telling you, that was a lot. I'm glad he uh, did something about that. Yeah, there he is. I knew there was one down there. Oh, there's a spider there I almost didn't even see. Some of the colors also, I think, looked a little bit different on the NES version. I mean, on the NES. Oh, boy. This boss is hard. I turned the volume down just a little bit on the game, sorry. Uh, Down Phoenix says, yes, it does look kind of similar. NES game was actually kind of fun. Master Well says, Cyrus, how can I DM you for some help? Uh, there should be a link to my Discord in the description of this. If it's not, it's on the top of my YouTube page. Um, if you join my Discord, you can DM me there. Absolutely. PJ says, Hudson Hawk was great. Love that film. Mini boss. Yes. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to do this or not, because I have trouble with this boss. But we're going to try. Little worms, man. Uh, 
Ah! Crap! I got, I got like, uh, confident that I could do it with the special bullets and I was wrong. Alright, let's try this again. God, I gotta go back through all this crap. Ugh! Yeah, definitely look me up on Discord, man. Oh. Oh, man. Ran right into that. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? Sheesh. It's not good. Ah! Alright. Get it together, get it together, get it together, get it together, get it together. Time to focus. Which means I'll probably do even worse. Oh yeah, I can't can't get to that guy. I don't like those bats. Is there any game where you like, like, where bats are a good thing? I don't think so. Well, I guess... Castlevania, when you turn into a bat. Symphony of the Night, Castlevania 3. Ooh, that was close. Ooh, almost ran right into that guy. All right, let's try this again. Is this unlimited continues? I don't remember, actually. I kind of don't think it is. Chicken nuggets and fries from the air fryer tonight. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I got her. Hell yeah. Wow, I usually have a lot of... I used to have a lot of trouble with her. I, I think John might have uh, taken some more pity on me. Made her a little easier from last time I played. Save states destroyed, unlimited continues, yeah. Down famous. Wow, you beat Wow, you beat that boss crazy compared to Luke. Oh crap. I didn't even realize Luke had been playing this. I feel like uh John's been cheating on me with Luke. What about the kids, John? What about the kids? Get over there. Yes. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, can't go through that. I have to get up here. 
Oh boy, here we go. Oh man, oh! Luke says, Sai also had hours and hours playtesting. That was my first time playing. So, phooey. Phooey on you. What a jerk. Down Phoenix is... He's a troublemaker. Man, I suck at this. almost fall off like every time ah see i'm i have some kind of like kryptonite level weakness against these ropes or chains whatever climbing stuff what the fuck what killed me i guess i ran into the skulls and they kill you if you run into them okay well damn it I was through all that. I was all proud of myself and everything for not dying from running into stuff from the ropes like I usually do. Just falling off the ropes. Okay. Oh boy. Oh, shit. Okay. I was like, what am I supposed to do? What do we do? We die. Wow. What do I do here? Climb up here. Just jump all the way, I guess. Wish me luck, I guess. Oh, I made it. Thank God. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, I got to pause in a second. Oh, a little bit stressed. Ooh, Down Pink says, I uh, rewound the footage. You definitely died from a glitch unless there's something that blended into the background like a fireball. Oh, okay. Hmm. Might have been a glitch. It might have been a glitch. I like, to, I like to think that it was a glitch. All right. Oh, boy. Here we go. Let's see. Can I get this up here? probably die trying to do this. Okay. Oh boy, I never got to this guy before. Oh, we're out of special bullets. I can get more though by fighting these guys. Screw your eyes. Oh, you've got little things blocking your shots there. That's diabolic.
Yeah! So long, giant green goblin dude. Mission, rid the town of the undead. The streets. This might be where I'm on the motorcycle. I played the motorcycle stuff, but he had like separated it out. So I've never played it at, at the spot in the game where you actually get to it. Yeah. Well, you finally made it. Now you can really see how bad things are. Clear the streets of the undead and make your way to the mayor's mansion. You got it, buddy. I can't jump. But I can ride. Oh, I don't have the motorcycle just yet. Guess I get it at some point in here, though. Oh, shit. Damn it. Dude, come up on me like out of nowhere. Oh. Oh. Damn. That's it. <laughs> Crap. See, it's hard. That is a hard game. Mayhem mode is insanely hard. What's up, Cranable? How you doing? I'll show you mayhem mode. It's it's crazy. It's a bunch of mayhem. Welcome to mayhem mode. In this mode, you can take your motorcycle through the desert and town to get to the mayor's mansion. Maybe this way is easier. Press B to shoot and A to jump. So this will get me where I was going to get to where I was at before, but a different way. If you see a ramp, just drive over it. It will launch you into the air. Hold up on the D-pad and uh, to stop. Good luck. All right. Well. Oh, I got to hit select. There we go. Okay. Oh, okay. What the hell? I don't understand what just happened. All right. Let's try it again. There we go. There we go. Okay, I was using the wrong bullets. Oh, damn. What? Okay. What well, keeps dropping me down right there? Okay. Ugh. <laughs> Alrighty. Try this again. I don't remember this being this hard. Maybe I've just been playing so much it didn't seem as hard. <sighs> That's the problem John was having was he was playing it so much that it seemed really easy to him. <clears throat> what the hell? Damn, John! What the hell killed me? Oh my god. Uh oh. Game crashed on me. Wow. Too many bullets on the screen, probably. I've had that happen to me on real hardware, too. 
That's the downside of using turbo. Crap. I'll try mayhem mode one more time. One more time. One way to be the best at a game is to make the game. <laughs> yeah. It's like Mario Maker levels, you know? I didn't think it was that hard. Yeah, because you made it. You know exactly what to do. Huh? <laughs> like. All right. I'm going to not use turbo. Oh, damn it. What the hell? How many bullets do these guys take to kill? Wow. That's that's harder than it was before. I don't know. It's like John made the the main game easier, but then he made May I think he made Mayhem mode even harder. Yeah. Well, the problem with the turbo is it can crash the game if you use turbo too. Like, if there's too many things on the screen, that's why I try not to use it. Okay, we're going to try this again. I pretty much have to use turbo because these guys take so many bullets to kill. I'm not fast enough to kill him. What the hell killed me? Okay, see? It crashed again. Hooey. Alright. I'll try let me try a different core. I think I was using yeah, FCUM. Let's try Nystopia and see if it runs any better in that. I don't think it will. I don't think it makes any difference. Oh. See, that's it, it's gonna be different because uh in and the other emulator I had the no sprite limit on, and here I don't, so you can see I slows things down a little bit it's so only one life in mayhem mode yeah what's your next project goal for this year Sai? I don't know I don't really have any goals or projects <laughs> crashing it is Windows it crashes on the real hardware too I've tested this on my uh, twin Famicom up here and uh, it would crash on that as well from using turbo. Not, the game doesn't crash all the time, but if you use turbo, sometimes it will crash. All right. I think that slowdown actually helps. Oh, there it crashed again. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, it's not gonna let me do what I need to do. I need to have turbo because it's just too much. But uh maybe it's something to take a look at, John. Maybe there's something you can do about that. I don't know. You watch this later. Well, that's a bummer. Thanks, Sai. You did a bad bit. Yeah, I know. It's my fault. It's all my fault. Post-processing on a core? Yeah, the... Uh, like, oh, this does have the no sprite limit on. It's still doing the slowdown. Huh, that's interesting. Well, let me turn that off. Let's see what it does with that off.
crashed again. Yeah, it really crashed. Crap. So I guess I'm going to have to not use turbo and try to hit it as fast as I can to kill these guys. Ugh. All right, wish me luck. Oh, it crashed. I didn't even have turbo on it crashed. Huh. Yeah, John, you might have a problem. You might have a problem here. This is, in my defense, so I believe changes were made after the last testing that I did. I'm going to, I'm going to give myself an out. <laughs> And just say, yes, I tested this game quite a bit. But John's very ambitious. And he'll like start adding stuff and, and doing things and then fixing other things that it might fix this, but then break that and blah, 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 blah. So he did some stuff, I think, after the last time that I tested. And some of that might be causing some trouble. On oh, Obviously, there's something wrong. Because I'm not even using Turbo and it's crashing right there. On both cores so yeah thank you down phoenix i appreciate it all right well john if you do end up watching this later you know something to take a look at i'm gonna i don't think i told him i was gonna do this i'm texting him now I don't even know if he knows that I'm streaming right now. All right, I'm going to try this again. Let's see what happens this time. No turbo. We're just going to go through it. Nothing special. No fancy hack turned on in the core. Nothing like that. We'll just see how it goes. All right, here we go. Oh, damn it. Wow. And it crashed again in the same spot. Huh. like too many things going on if i try to eat. i may have to try to just jump over that thing to get past that What the hell? What is going on with this thing? I'm not doing anything fancy here. I shouldn't be doing that. We'll try switching cores again. I think maybe I had better luck with the other core. So we were using Nystopia. Let's switch back to FCM. And see if it has any better results. And let me make sure I don't have any hacks 
enabled, no sprite, we'll turn that off. Overclock, off. Okay, let's try it again. Yeah, John, I don't know what's going on. Use turbo, I almost forgot. And it crashed on this one, too. Huh. Hmm. That's weird. We're not doing any kind of hacks, we don't have any of that turned on. That's weird. Hmm. I don't know. Do you have the Windows executable? Uh I'm this is a ROM. This is an NES ROM. I'm playing it on an emulator. Do you have an earlier version of the game? Yeah, I've got a bunch of versions of this game. Uh, but I, this is the latest version that John sent me, and I'm trying to test it to see how it works, and apparently there's a problem. Yeah, I have, I have like 20 different versions of this game from various different states of uh, development. One more time. One more time. I'm not even going to shoot. I'm going to try to see if I can get through this by just... Dodging the enemies and not using bullets. I don't know if I can do that, but I'm going to try. Ooh, that was close. Okay, I got past that spot. Ah, oh, almost passed that. Oh. Oh, crap. I don't know what I thought was going to happen right there. But not that. <laughs> Okay, I'll just use my bullets if I absolutely have to. What the hell? like drop down sometimes oh okay well it's mayhem all right well i don't know john i don't know what the deal is damn did damn did know you were oh didn't know you were alive okay yeah <laughs> go sirs go John, let me show you. If you didn't see it before, I'll show you what what's happening. If I start shooting stuff, it crashes on me. And I've tried it with two different emulators now. 
I turned off all the enhancements, all the, like, oh shit. There we go. Oh boy. Well, crashed right there. Yep. Alrighty. It crashes at various different places here. It's pretty much every time I start shooting. Yeah, I don't know. Show you. Uh, this is with the FCEU, um, you, however you say that, emulator, but uh, Nystopia, I get the same thing. We'll switch to Nystopia. <laughs> side of cats like game streams not particularly they don't like a lot of things <laughs> never had crash issues in this area I, I don't know man i don't know why it's doing it i think so i broke it if there's a way to break it i figure out how to break it <laughs> could be a side problem he only has a 3060 <laughs> peasant Yeah, I'm a 3060 peasant. All right. Ah, damn it. Every time, if I start shooting the limo, it crashes every time, every single time. I'm not even using turbo. Yeah, dude, let me know if you get it figured out or if you, I don't know, you may never experience this. It might be a me problem. I don't know. I have to test it on my, my twin Famicom and see how it goes on the real hardware. Uh, I do have my Discord voice open if you want to get on there, John. You don't have to, but it's it's open if you want to hop in there. One more time. Oh, it is crashing on you. Ooh. Interesting. Well, that's... I mean, it's not good, but it's a little reassuring to know it's not just me. Watch, let's see if I can, if I can get over here. I'm just going to shoot him. Oh, it actually didn't crash that. What the hell happened? And it just crashed there for no reason. All right, I don't know. Something's going on, John. There's definitely something going on. Yes, my sentiments exactly. I second the motion. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Well, that's all the testing I really can do on this right now. The story mode seemed like it was good. I don't I don't remember having any issues in story mode other than me sucking. But in the mayhem mode, uh there's some issues there. Well, at least now you know. At least now you're aware of it. Okay. Well, I br I was messing with something last night. It's not related to that. Um, I was messing around with the PlayStation 2 emulator. Down Vinny says, uh, you die, die in a weird spot on stage two, but otherwise it seems fine. I did die. I misread that. Sorry. Yes, I was like, die, die. Sorry, my bad. Um, I was messing around with the PlayStation 2 emulator, and 
I was playing uh, the original Half Life on PlayStation Two. I don't know if you've ever played that, but um, I thought it might be fun to experience that at 1080p. You know, a PlayStation Two version of Half Life Two because it's a very unique version. There's some graphic things that they do and some stuff that's unique to the PlayStation 2 version of Half-Life 2. Or not Half-Life 2, Half-Life. Excuse me. Oh, another update. Yes, I will do another update. Thank you. Master Will says, Cyrus, do not <laughs> disappoint. Uh, so I figured, yeah, let me, uh, let me break away from the NES stuff and from John's game. Still some work to be done. He, you know, obviously he can fix that. I'm sure, and we'll uh, dive into Half Life for the PlayStation Two, upresed, internal upresed to uh, 1080p. See how it plays. Da -da -da. Let's see. Oh, that's not the one I wanted. That's the one I wanted. Okay. Alrighty. I don't know if you've ever seen this before, this version of Half-Life. It's pretty unique. It does have... Uh, standard mode or 16 by 9 widescreen so we'll definitely do that and we'll see how it goes Gearbox back when they didn't suck. Good morning, yeah. And welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is yeah. eight. I highly recommend running this on the PlayStation 2 emulator. Uh, and then you know, increasing the internal resolution. I've got it up to 1080p. It might drop a few frames here and there, but I still would rather do a 1080p. Um, it's just very good. It's very impressive for a PS2 game. Oh, you figured out the problem? Hell yeah, dude. This train is We'll have to do some more testing on that. Level three dormitories to sector C test labs and control facilities. If your intended destination is a high security area beyond Sector C, you will need to return to the Central Transit Hub in Area 9. So if you have the original Half-Life on Steam, they have, uh, there's a couple different ways you can play it. You can play like vanilla Half-Life, and you can play it with the, the models from the Blue Shift upgrade that they did. Um, and there's also a source version, which adds colored lighting and stuff like that. This version adds some stuff beyond even that, I think, which is crazy to, to think. And I, I can't, don't quote me on this, but my understanding is there's some stuff going on here in the PS2 version of Half-Life that, that, that there's actually not a standard PC version that does. Like, I don't know if I'm saying this right. People have hacked the Steam version of Half-Life to include this extra stuff that's going on in the PS2 version, but you have to manually do that. Um, it's not included in any retail version of Half-Life. And I'm not exactly sure what all these things are, so sorry about that, but uh, I, I know there is some enhancement here that's not present in any of the retail Steam versions of Half-Life. Kamikaze! Yo, Half-Life, man. I love Half-Life 2 so much. I've probably played Half-Life 2 at least three times. 
I've never played through episode one and two. I need to do that. I have played through the whole F Life two, but not the two episodes. John says, "Well, I figured it out, but I didn't say I fixed it." Oh, okay. Well, uh, just let me know, John. We'll we'll do some more testing. Uh, down Phoenix, there's Black Mesa two, which is like a remake of this. Yeah, the Black Mesa thing is pretty awesome. That's where you play as like the special forces people, right? Uh, Kamikaze says, I got into Half-Life on Orange Box when it was on the 360. A reminder. Does the Orange Box... See, I have the Orange Box digitally on my Xbox. Isn't that just Half-Life 2 and, like, uh, Team Fortress and something else? I don't, I don't remember that being... including the original Half-Life. I mean, if it did, if it did then I... That's cool, because that means I have it on there, too. Uh... I just don't remember that. Do you have a friend or relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team? Immediate openings are available in the areas of material. Back in the day, man, when this came out on computer, we bought it, you know, we had the original version on CD. This was absolutely freaking mind blowing back then. My brain turned to Swiss cheese playing Half Life. That was the original Swiss cheese moment. <laughs> Down Phoenix, no, it's a remake of Half-Life 1 using Half-Life 2 engine. Uh, you're talking Black Mesa is... Really? Because there's Half-Life Source, and that's using Half-Life 2 engine. I have to look into that. Half-Life 2, Team Fortress, I think Portal, yeah, that's right. Yeah. In the Black Mesa research facility. Uh, Downfix says, I love playing OG Half Life on PC as well as Team Fortress Classic, Counter Strike. Dude, we played Team Fortress Classic all the damn time. Me and my brother, I was, you know, we would, we would trade off. Usually he would be an engineer. I'd be the heavy weapons guy, or sometimes, sometimes he would like to, he would be the, uh, the demo man, and I would do the, the pyro guy. We would both do the soldier sometimes, and then the spy. The spy was fun as hell, man. The Re Team Fortress Classic was so much fun. Just dropping those Mervs at the respawn points. <laughs> Setting up your cannons, just obliterating people. Good times, man. I think this runs really good. Oh, by the way... I am using a DualShock 4 controller on this. I set up that DS4 uh, driver and everything on the computer. And uh, playing PlayStation games with a DualShock 4 controller, or pretty much anything with DualShock 4 controller, feels really great on here. PS2 games, obviously. Good stuff. Overwatch is modern Team Fortress. Yeah, I see what you're saying. I got you. Did you play games l like that with Eugene? Eh, we played Left 4 Dead a lot. We played Left 4 Dead. We didn't really play Half-Life or Team Fortress, me and Eugene. But we played the crap out of some Left 4 Dead. It's gonna suck? Oh, I hope not. I hope it turns out to be good. My daughter got me interested in that Fallout show because I, I kind of heard about it, but I wasn't really, I wasn't really on my radar. And she goes, "No, it looks really good." I was like, "Well, all right." So I'm interested to see it. I'm hopeful that it's gonna turn out to be pretty good. We used to come over here and mess with them all the time, pressing these buttons and stuff. They get all mad at you. They were having some problems down in the test chamber. My God, what are you doing? <laughs> Come on, Gordon. You're trying to get me into trouble? <laughs> That's funny. I mean, doesn't this look good? This looks like a really good way to play the original Half-Life right here. It runs good. Graphics, I mean, like I said, if you up it like I am right here, running this at 1080p, this is nice. Welcome to the HEV Mark. No, where? 
Tommy says, oh, Left 4 Dead, I can't even imagine how many hours I play, dude. Left 4 Dead and Left 4 Dead 2. Horror stream, what's up, dude? What is up, dude? Down Phoenix, uh, it has really good reviews from what I've seen. Gonna watch a, okay, yeah, let me, I'm gonna watch it too. I'm gonna see how, what I think about it. Oh, you got it. John has fixed the problem. I knew you would, dude. I knew you would figure it out right away. I'll update the itch. IO files and Steam build. Thankfully, Steam isn't available yet. We'll do some more testing this weekend, John. And uh, if there's anything else that comes up, I'm sure we can get it hammered out. Tommy says, I like Half Life, but I feel like Half Life 2 is. Well. Oh, yeah, it's on another level. You know, Half Life 2 does all kinds of crazy stuff. Yeah, we're, we're trying the PS2 version. This is the PS2 version of Half Life. I've got it running at 1080p but this is the playstation 2 version i i had tested the playstation 2 version a little bit on original hardware but i never played it running at this resolution before it seems to be doing pretty good Freeman, it's good to see you. Yeah, good to see you. Greetings. Greetings. That's... Can we do this later? Okay, Barney. Uh, John says I had to get rid of the puddles. To make the objects being created in scene and cause crashing weird that it didn't crash in older builds well there you go all right at least you figured it out this game won best game of the year two years in a row there's a reason for that it's awesome it's half-life ps2 yes wasn't there a vr version oh i don't know i do not know so your game has puddle gate uh oh puddle gate damn it john Always in controversy. John, you can never escape. You can never you can never escape the controversy, John. Hi Lord. Hey Bubba. How you doing? How you doing, Bubba? How you doing, Scooter? I gather they went to some lengths to get it. A key key key! They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. Alright, let's do it. Let's mess up everything. Bring forth the end times. <laughs> Look at these. Uh oh. It's about to go critical. What the hell is going on with our equipment? It wasn't meant to do this in the first place. Figure it out. Stupid scientists. Are you a scientist or not? Sheesh. Okay, Tyler says, is it true you can use a mouse to play a PS2 Half-Life? Yes, it's true. You can actually hook up a USB mouse to a PS2 and use it. I think you can hook up a keyboard too, actually, on the PlayStation 2. I think the menu actually said something about it, yeah. Now, now, if you follow standard I like G. procedures, everything will be fine. Okay. I don't know how you can say that, although I will admit that the possibility... Like how Gordon Freeman is a scientist, but he has to save the world by blasting aliens. That's right. She's a highly trained professional. We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. This guy looks like Kevin Spacey. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. 
Who would play Gordon Freeman in the movie? Like in the movie version of Half Life? Who do you think would be a good Gordon Freeman? Anthony, this is Half-Life on the PlayStation 2. I'm running it on an emulator, so I've got it running at 1080p, which is a lot higher resolution than it actually natively runs at. But this is the PS2 version. Okay. Let's start it up. Starting up the shield. Stada, stada. Oh, Patrick Swayze, Steven Seagal for Gordon Freeman? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty awesome, dude. As long as he doesn't talk. Well, Gordon Freeman doesn't talk, so. Chris Pratt with glasses and a goatee. The Rock. <laughs> Charlie Sheen. Oh my gosh. You ever have this spot here glitch out on you and like you die because some crazy like alien lands on you? I've had that happen to me. Earlier versions of Half-Life had a problem with that. Benedict Cumberbatch, yeah, maybe. Ethan Hawke would. Oh, Ethan Hawke. Ethan Hawke. That might be a good pick right there, actually. Ethan Hawke. I like that. Nicholas Cage. I kind of like that, too. I kind of like that, too. Yeah. Did y'all ever see that vampire movie that Nick Nicolas Cage made where he's Dracula? That movie's hilarious. Didn't do very well in the theater, but I liked it. I thought it was good. Okay, there's my jump. Come on, Bonnie, you can do it. Come on. Need some light. place has seen better days, that's for sure. Well, 
Commission. We tried to warn them. I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. Gordon, you're alive. Thank God. Uh, it's always funny, but I never finished up Half Life. It was always one of those games that creeped me that. Yeah, I never beat the original Half Life either. I got really close, but I, I never beat it. The audio exploding all of the time made it the most intense game. It's very intense. Mel Gibson is Gordon Freeman. Maybe a younger Mel Gibson, maybe. Renfield, yeah, I like that movie. I thought it was fun. Nicholas Cage was awesome in that movie. Chaos <laughs> He'll do anything. That's right. Steve Buscemi. Yeah, Steve Buscemi would be a really good Gordon Freeman. That'd be. That'd give him an opportunity to to do like well, a different kind of character from what he normally does. The movie is great. Forget the name. Renfield. Yeah, that's a good movie. Yeah. Steve Buscemi could do a really good job. Oh boy, we don't want to mess with those. We don't even have any kind of weapons. Oh, he's got to get over here, dude. You got to do this. Come on. Come on, dude. I need your help. How do I get him to do stuff? Not that kind of stuff. How interesting. Just look at that. Come on, dude. Well, there goes our grant money. Can one of y'all like come over here and let me out of here? It's not gonna let me do it. Access denied. Come on, dude. Yes, let's go. Finally. Finally. Sheesh. Joseph Gordon-Levitt. That's a good one. That's a good. One. I like that. Oh, this is where the thing comes through. Uh, crouch down. Crab, which I can't do anything about. Ah, the infamous lasers. Crowbar, finally. Alright, I gotta catch up on the chat. <laughs> I'm getting too far behind. Uh, Renfield was awesome. That scientist just moping. Yes. Jibu Shemi sounds like the guy that would nag someone for a beer. Jibu <laughs> Shemi, he might be a good uh, Barney. You're right. Uh, which kind of fits. Yeah, Barney. Yeah. What are you trying to do exactly? Get to the door. Uh, Daniel. Daniel Daly says, oh, wow. I actually caught a stream and it's... Uh, one of my all-time favorites. Well, thank you, Daniel. Welcome. Welcome, Daniel. Al Pacino? No, I don't know if Al Pacino would be a good Gordon Freeman. Hey, we gotta get through here. Great ass! <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
his head is up the cra head crab's ass. That's right. He's got his head all the way up it. Hoo ah. Daniel says, uh, "Dude, I just want, I just want to only know how much I appreciate your physical copies you made." Oh, thank you, Daniel. I appreciate that. I'm glad you liked it. Thank you very much. Oh, Daniel. <laughs> You guys remember the movie uh, Hannibal? Gary Oldman's character. He's all messed up. Oh, girl! I used to do uh, voices on here all the time. He does. Oh, I already read that. Damn, I deleted the list. Oh, I got you. I got you. We're good. We're good. We good. Sorry, guys. My bad. Can I get down there? Yeah, I get down there. Let's see if I can pick through the remains of these guys and get some stuff. Very morbid. I need your stuff. Sorry, guys. Oh, shoot. Yeah, get him, Barney. Oh, crap. Come on, Barney. That'll look nice in my trophy room. Yeah, we might stand a better chance if we team up. Okay, I'll secure this area. No. Roger that. Let's run like hell. There we go. There we go. Robert De Niro playing Travis Freeman. Who's Travis Freeman? Wow. Look at the detail. Does that happen on the PC version with the mouths and all that opening like that? Might be one of the enhancements that they're talking about. I'm not sure. Where did you go, Barney? You were with me a second ago. Where is he? There he is. What are you doing? Shoot him, not me. That's one less horror. Come on, Barney. Bring it on. He roasts. Roasts. I think there's some stuff I can get over here. Yeah. I may already get everything. There we go. Alright, Barney. Still don't have a weapon. I mean, I got a crowbar. I guess that's a Serena says, you know, like Travis Bickle's character from Taxi Jar? Oh. I got you. I got you.
Unfortunately, you're a dead man. I can't do nothing for you. Sorry, buddy. Remember how creepy this was the first time you saw it? Can I not get in there? I can get in there. I know I can. Yeah. Get this poor bastard out of his misery. Get in there. Oh, press the damn button, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Buddy. Oh. Oh. Damn it. Oh. I don't like head grabs. They're not fun.
take some damage on that. Those head crabs, here they come. They get chewed up in the thing down there if you let them fall into it. And on you, though, then that's not the case. I didn't mean to fall into that. God dang it. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to wrap up, guys. I've been playing for a while. Uh, we had a good test with John's game. Tested a little bit of Half-Life 2. Had some fun. Of course, I didn't save it, so now i got to start over, which we're not going to do. But uh, this is Half-Life on the PlayStation 2. The original Half-Life. And it's a pretty cool version of it. So... All right, well, uh, thank you so much for joining me, guys. Horror Stream, Down Phoenix, John Daly, Born Distracted, uh, Retro Bro was here, of course. Kamikaze stopped by, which was really cool. Um, there was also Anthony Whitlock, and Ty Lord was here for a little bit. Bassarino. Bassarino came by. Um, da, 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 anybody else? Master Welch was here. Cranibal. I'm going to miss somebody, and I'm sorry. I always miss somebody. PJ Smith stopped by for a minute. Luke was here. Luke's Awakening. Um, da, 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 da. Oh, yeah. Okay. Casey was here, the Intellivision Gamer. Go check out Intellivision Gamer's channel. It's awesome. And if I missed you, I greatly apologize. It was not intentional, but it always happens. So I'm sorry about that. Anyway, hope to, hopefully you guys enjoyed some of this. Thanks for hanging out. Um, let me know what you think of the new Fallout show, because we're all probably going to watch it today. And uh, just, you know, leave some comments or join my Discord if you really want to chit chat there's a link to my discord on my youtube channel on the top and there might be one in the uh, description of this video as well I'm, I'm not sure if i put it in there or not but if not you could probably find it pretty easily but um yeah join a discord hang out all right that's it for now guys uh sherlock holmes i don't know, I don't know what you mean by that <laughs> sherlock holmes Anyway, y'all take care, guys, and I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.